Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart, and the band rides over. We hopped up to 53 quarter, but they, you know, they knocked it back down. We didn't engage the upper band, so we spent an entire Globex without touching the upper band. So the band ride is over. It lasted about six days. The bands are at about three and change, which is not blown out, but it's, you know, they're wide enough to end a band ride. Does that mean we're going straight down? No. What it means is the bears, you know, can't keep up the absolute upward pressure of trying to grab that upper band every single day. They did make a new all-time high yesterday. It wasn't a marginal new all-time high. They made it by a couple, you know, two and a half, uh, three handles. In the overnight, yeah, it's been a fairly narrow range, 45 to 49.75. So what we have to see now is as this nine-day simple moving average rises to meet price, how is price going to react to it? If it does not touch it today, it should touch it this week as a function of time versus a function of price. And what I mean by that is this. It's a nine-day simple moving average. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, and you can see the rapid rise of price over this five session period. Therefore, this moving average is going to rise rapidly as well. So the key to the remainder of this week is how does price react to a touch off of the nine day simple moving average? It fought over it for a few days back uh, at the end of September, uh, actually for about six sessions before starting this latest ride. So it may not be a clean touch. If that's the case, then you can expect, you know, two sided trading around the nine day. If the bears can convert it to resistance, that opens up a move back to the green line, which is the daily middle band. Um, we've been above the nine day now for, you know, going on 10 sessions. Um, that's a while. So, and you know, as you suspect with the band ride doing what it's doing, it's not going to correct to that line as a function of price, but more as a function of the line is coming up to meet where we are. We've given up very little. Uh, we're trading 47 with a 53 all-time high. So as we head into today, I want to see how 53 is dealt with, if it's dealt with at all. And then you've got, as we hop over to the hourly chart, you, you've got these low 40s. You, here, here's your 39 half reaction low. And I told subscribers yesterday that you know the chances of this being the low of the week are pretty good. I mean, unless you see some news. So you've got this move down, you know, into the 41s, 41, you know, 42s, 43s, 42s. You know, this low 40s area is being held, and you don't even have a real actual threat of the weekly pivot. So what do the bears want to do today? Ideally, they'd like to hold the hourly mid band right here where they are. Okay, what they'll take instead is daily pivot resistance. Now that's got to break the Globex low with some force that's going to get us down into this low 40s area and the bears are going to have to perform. They're just going to have to perform. I like this I like how this was rejected. This has some potential. But it doesn't have any potential if the bears can't do simple things like hold daily pivot and make a lower low. Okay? This high was rejected. And, you know, it's tried to get back and it can't get back up over the 50. So if it can't get back to 53 today, and we end up trading, you know, lower versus higher, then that starts to open up the conversation Thursday, Friday as to maybe we can get back to the weekly pivot. It's very, you know, it, it would be very unusual in this environment, but you never say never in trading. You let price tell you what to do. So keep an eye on daily pivot. Keep an eye on yesterday's low, uh, 42.75. Keep an eye on 39.5, and then you've got the weekly pivot. On the upside, it's got to deal with these 50s, and then it's got to deal with the all-time high. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. I will catch everybody for the midday update. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.